Phone call 1. Hello, I'd like to schedule a meeting with our team to discuss the upcoming project. What's your availability this week? Hi, Alice. I have some time on Tuesday and Thursday. Which day works best for you? Tuesday works for me. How about 2 p.m.? Sounds good, let's schedule it for Tuesday at 2 p.m. I'll send out a calendar invite. Perfect, John. And could you also invite our project manager Sarah to the meeting? Of course, I'll add Sarah to the invite. Is there any specific agenda you'd like to set for the meeting? Yes, please include discussions on project milestones, client feedback, and our upcoming deadlines. Got it. I'll create the agenda and send out the invite to both you and Sarah shortly. Phone call to... Hello, I'm David. I'm having issues with my computer. It's running really slow, and I can't access some files. Hi, David. I'll remote in and take a look. Can you please provide me with your computer's asset tag number? Sure, it's tag 27340. Thanks, David. I see your computer now. It does seem a bit slow. I'll check for any software or system issues. Appreciate your help, Sarah. Is there anything else you need from my end? Just a moment, David. It looks like there are some unnecessary background processes running. I'll optimize your system, and you should see an improvement in performance. That's great to hear, Sarah. Thanks for your assistance. You're welcome, David. If you encounter any more issues, don't hesitate to reach out. Phone call 3. Hi, I'm Emily. I need to submit my expense report for last month's business trip. How do I go about it? Hello, Emily. You can fill out the expense report form online and attach your receipts. After that, send it to the finance department for processing. Thank you, Mark. I'll do that right away. Just to confirm, where should I send it once it's completed? You can email it to expenses at companyname.com. Make sure all your receipts are attached and categorized correctly. Got it, Mark. I'll take care of it and send it in today. Thanks for your help. You're welcome, Emily. If you have any questions while filling out the report, feel free to reach out. Phone call 4. Hello, I'm Sophia. I need some information about our company's healthcare plans. Can you help me with that? Hi, Sophia. This is Emma. I can provide you with an overview of our healthcare options and connect you with our HR benefits specialist for more details. When are you available for a brief consultation? I can do it this afternoon, around 3 p.m. Please send me the contact details for the benefits specialist. Perfect, Sophia. I'll schedule a call with our benefits specialist for you at 3 p.m. and provide you with their contact information. They'll be able to answer all your questions. I appreciate your assistance in this. You're welcome, Sophia. Don't hesitate to ask any more questions you might have. Phone call 5. Hello, I'm Karen Smith. I'm interested in making a donation to your charity. Can you provide information on your organization's current projects and how I can contribute? Hi, Karen. Your willingness to donate is greatly appreciated. We're currently running projects focused on education and healthcare in underserved communities. You can contribute online through our website or by check. Do you have a specific project you'd like to support? I'm passionate about education, so I'd like to support your education initiatives. Can you tell me more about the specific programs you have in place? Certainly, Karen. We have programs to provide school supplies, scholarships, and vocational training in different regions. Your donation will directly impact children's access to quality education. That sounds wonderful. I'll make a contribution online later today. Thank you for your time and the work your organization is doing. Thank you, Karen. Your support will make a significant difference in the lives of those we help. We're grateful for your generosity. Phone call 6. Hello, I'm Laura Robinson. I'd like to book a flight and hotel for a trip to Paris next month. Hello, ma'am. That sounds exciting. 
I can help you with that. When are you planning to travel and how long will your stay be? I'll be flying on the 15th of next month and staying for a week. I prefer a hotel near the city center. Great, let me find you some flight options. Do you have any specific airline preferences? No preferences, just looking for the most convenient and cost-effective option. I'll check for the best flights and nearby hotels, and I'll email you the options for your approval. Thank you, Emily. I appreciate your help in planning my trip. Phone call 7. Hello, I'm Tom Davis. I was recently involved in a car accident, and I need to inquire about making an insurance claim. I'm sorry to hear that, Tom. Let's start the process. Could you provide me with your policy number and some details about the accident? My policy number is MYT77204-15. The accident occurred last week, and I'd like to know the process for filing a claim and getting my car repaired. Thank you, Tom. I've located your policy. I'll walk you through the steps, including what information you need to provide and how the repair and reimbursement process works. I appreciate your help with this, especially during a stressful time like this. You're welcome, Tom. We're here to guide you through the claims process and make it as smooth as possible. If you have any questions along the way, please feel free to reach out. Phone call 8. Hi, I'd like to report a break-in at my neighbor's house. I saw someone suspicious near their property. Thank you for reporting this. Can you provide more details on the person you saw, and did you notice any specific actions that raised concerns? The person was wearing a black hoodie and seemed to be lingering around the back entrance. I couldn't see their face clearly, but it just felt off. I appreciate your vigilance. I'm dispatching an officer to the location. Please stay on the line in case we need more information. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, that's all for now. Thank you. Phone call 9. Hello, this is Susan Thompson. I've been reviewing my recent utility bill, and there seems to be a discrepancy. The charges are higher than usual, and I'm a bit concerned. Hi, Susan. I'm sorry to hear about the issue you're experiencing. I'd be happy to help you figure this out. Can you provide me with your account number and a brief description of the discrepancy you've noticed? Sure. My account number is I-50341 for 7-089. It looks like the electricity charges have doubled compared to last month, and I haven't made any significant changes in my usage. Thank you, Susan. I'll check that for you. It might take a moment. While I'm doing that, have there been any changes in your household recently, like new appliances or any maintenance work? No, nothing has changed. We've been using the same appliances, and there haven't been any renovations. OK, thanks for clarifying. I'm checking your usage history now. It seems there might be a technical issue with your meter. I'll escalate this to our technical team for a thorough inspection. In the meantime, I'll make a note to put a hold on your current bill until we resolve this. I appreciate your assistance. How soon can I expect to hear back about the investigation? Our technical team usually responds within 24 to 48 hours. You should receive a call from them directly. If there's anything else you'd like to add or inquire about, feel free to let me know. Thank you. I'll be waiting for their call. I appreciate your help in resolving this matter. You're welcome, Susan. I apologize for any inconvenience, and we'll do our best to get this sorted out for you. If you have any more questions or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out. Phone call 10. Hi, I'd like to make a hotel reservation for next week. Do you have any available rooms? Yes, we have a few rooms left for those dates. How many nights will you be staying? Just one night, please. And could you tell me the rates? Sure, 
The rate for a standard room is $150 per night. Would you like to proceed with the booking? Yes, please. Can you confirm the reservation and send me the details via email? Of course. I'll email you the confirmation right away. Thank you for choosing our hotel. Phone call 11. Hi, I'm calling to inquire about the availability of a specific book at your bookstore. Hello. I can help you with that. What's the title of the book you're looking for? The title of the book is The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Let me check our inventory for you. Please hold the line. Sure, take your time. Thank you for waiting. I have checked our inventory, and we do have a few copies of The Power of Now in stock. Would you like me to reserve a copy for you? Yes, please. Can you also let me know the price of the book? The price for The Power of Now is $20. We also have a 10% discount for members of our bookstore loyalty program. That's great. I'm already a member of the loyalty program. Can you reserve a copy for me and apply the discount? Certainly. I'll reserve a copy for you and apply the discount. You can come to the bookstore anytime within the next week to pick it up. Thank you so much for your help. I'll come by tomorrow to collect the book. You're welcome. If you have any more book-related inquiries, feel free to reach out. Have a wonderful day. Phone call 12. Hi, I'm calling to inquire about the process of renting a car from your company. Hello, I can provide you with all the necessary information. Are you looking to rent a car for a specific date and duration? Yes, I need to rent a car for a week, starting from next Monday. Great. We have a wide range of vehicles available for rental. Can you please let me know your preferred car type and any specific features you're looking for? I'm looking for a mid-size sedan with automatic transmission and GPS navigation. Understood. Let me check our inventory for you. Please hold the line. Sure, take your time. Thank you for waiting. We do have a mid-size sedan available for the dates you mentioned. It comes equipped with automatic transmission and GPS navigation. The rental cost for a week is $300. That sounds reasonable. Can you also let me know about the insurance coverage and any additional charges? Our rental cars come with basic insurance coverage, but we also offer additional coverage options for an extra fee. We can discuss the details when you come to pick up the car. All right, I'll take the rental car for a week. Please reserve it for me. Certainly. I have reserved the mid-size sedan for you. You can pick it up from our location on Monday. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask. Thank you for your assistance. I appreciate it. Phone call 13. Hi, I'm calling to inquire about the process of booking a doctor's appointment at your clinic. Hello. I can assist you with that. Are you a new patient or an existing patient? I'm a new patient. I haven't visited your clinic before. Great. To book an appointment, we'll need some basic information from you. Can you please provide me with your full name, date of birth, and contact number? Sure, my name is John Smith, my date of birth is January 1st, 1980, and my contact number is 820-152-890. Thank you for providing the information, Mr. Smith. Now, can you let me know the reason for your visit and any specific preferences for a doctor or appointment time? I'm experiencing some persistent back pain, and I don't have any specific preferences for a doctor or appointment time. Understood. Let me check the availability for you. 
Please hold the line. Sure, take your time. Thank you for waiting. I have found a few available slots for you. We have an appointment available with Dr. Johnson on Monday at 10 a.m. or with Dr. Anderson on Wednesday at 2 p.m. Which one would you prefer? I'll take the appointment with Dr. Johnson on Monday at 10 a.m. Please book it for me. Certainly. I have booked the appointment for you. You'll receive a confirmation message with all the details shortly. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask. Thank you for your assistance. I appreciate it. You're welcome, Mr. Smith. We look forward to seeing you on Monday. Have a great day. Phone call 14. I'm having trouble with my internet connection. It keeps dropping and I work from home. Can you help? Of course, Chris. I can guide you through some troubleshooting steps. Have you tried resetting your router? Yes, I've tried that a few times, but it doesn't seem to be helping. What else can I do? Let's run a few tests to diagnose the issue. Can you check your router's lights and tell me their status? Okay, I see the lights. The power and DSL lights are solid, but the internet light is blinking. Blinking internet light indicates a connection problem. I'll guide you through some steps to resolve it. Phone call 15. I appreciate your interest in partnering with us. I'd like to know more about your company as well. Can you share some details about your core strengths and market presence? Of course, Michael. We specialize in software development, particularly in AI and data analytics. We've been in the market for over a decade and have a strong client base across various industries. That's impressive. Our focus on cybersecurity and your expertise in AI could potentially create a powerful combination. What kind of collaborations do you envision? We see opportunities for co-developing security solutions powered by AI, joint marketing efforts to reach a wider audience, and sharing our respective knowledge and resources to enhance our products. I agree, Samantha. This collaboration has great potential. I'd like to set up a meeting with our respective teams to explore this further. When can we get together? How about next Wednesday at 2 p.m.? We can have a virtual meeting to discuss our strategies and potential alignment. Wednesday at 2 p.m. works for me. I look forward to our discussion and the potential to create a valuable partnership. Great. I'll send you a calendar invite for the meeting. Thanks for reaching out.